Hello, it's Nancy Crawford back with a couple more videos for you here. This is the first in a two-part series exploring mark making, in particular that's inspired by calligraphy or text or handwriting. Essentially what we're going to be looking at is mark making that pairs beautifully with encaustic work that you might be doing. Although you might use these techniques if you're doing collage work, mixed media pieces, and so forth. So one of the things that I'm going to be looking at are some image development strategies, ways that you can work with opposing forces or dualities to create some visual interest in your your images. So what I'm doing here, this was actually just the title slide, if you could think of it that way, for the, the birthday project, the second birthday project that I did that was called Evermore Love and Gratitude. And so what I was doing in the first part of the text was doing cursive handwriting and using a technique that I think of as stretching the letter so you're well you're actually writing the letter and then stretching out the space in between those letters so it's very lightweight it's filigree it's not legible um, really at all and then what I've done is turned the paper in the opposite direction and now I'm using text to create a shape so I'm using that same line of text so ever more love and gratitude but I'm creating this text block as you can see here juxtaposing a simple solid basic hand printed letter with these stretched out or elongated letters. So even though the color that I'm using is the same, there's a difference in the line quality, the weight of the line, the direction of the line, the, you know, the feel of those things. So you've got a kind of a duality working there. This is showing that same sort of process where you're stretching the space between each of the letters and this has been worked up into an encaustic piece. So I did some collage work in the background and then I layered this quote over the top. It actually does say something. Um, it says, I am not a teacher, I am an awakener. And in that project, which focused on our mentors, their inspirations, I embedded a lot of quotes about teaching and mentorship and inspiration into the encaustic work. So that's why there was such a focus on text as part of these. So here I'm just preparing a pencil drawn shape that I'm going to use as a guide for drawing one single large letter. So here I'm using a, a pen that's called an automatic pen to create a very precise, hard edge, bold, single letter M that's sort of a modified Roman script. And I'm juxtaposing it here with another letter M layered over the top, but really focusing on how could I make that very different or opposite. So we've got the, the mass block of the M that's black layered with a whimsical or scribbled M that's very loose and out of control. We've got color differences. We've got matte versus glossy. So there's all sorts of dualities that are playing off there just to kind of create a little more visual interest or energy. So that might be something you think about in your own pieces. With this one, I created just a stencil for the letter A using painter's tape and am painting into that shape now with some black encaustic paint. I'm removing the stencil before I fuse on that side because I didn't want my tape to stick. And you can see I've, I've got my panel at quite an extreme angle to create these sort of drips on the right hand side. So this is actually that finished piece. And you can see that there's, I've just layered all sorts of dualities or opposites on the same little piece. So we've got a scale duality of the large letter A versus the small letters. We've got a directional difference with the A being legible and the other text sort of being, you know, positioned vertically. We've got printed letter A versus the cursive handwriting. We've got white and black. We've got the crisp edge of the A juxtaposed with the drip side. We've got solid black versus the speckled white. So it's all these kind of opposing forces or opposites grouped together to create the kind of visual impact there. That's what I was sort of thinking. Here I did a pencil square shape again, but rather than working with one large block letter, like with the letter M, 
I'm just handwriting in here a quote and repeating it over and over and over. So that says we rise by lifting others. And I've just compressed that text so there's no space between the words, there's no space between the lines. And it's creating really, it's using text to create a shape. So this is a little encaustic work that is using that same sort of concept. What I've done is not only compress that text, but I also wrote it in a variety of different directions on top of itself, and then worked it up with layers of wax, creating this sort of symmetrical borders on the side that were done with wax, and actually that square in the middle is actually a copper foil. So hopefully this video has encouraged you to try working with some text or mark making as shapes or pattern or design with your encaustic work or maybe your collage work. I'd be very interested to see what you explore. Have fun with this. Have a great day.